Hello again. Oof, gray. Not a good thing. <laughs> Hello again. I got cornered by somebody. Now, you may not know this about me because I always try to avoid speaking about faith. Because I have none. I am an atheist. Yep, I'm one of those evil A people. But I don't throw that in nobody's face and I don't care when Christians, Jews, Muslims, Hindus, or anyone else attacks atheists because atheism is a religion. I see it all the time. Atheists have to <clears throat> try to get converts like everyone else. They just preach their concept of non-faith. And I don't understand that logic. Excuse me. But I got cornered by someone. And as usual, I'm open-minded enough to examine what I believe and confront any contradictions within my beliefs. Or in this case, non-beliefs. Someone I know, you know who you are, because you will probably watch the video and laugh at me. Someone I know asked me, do you believe in aliens? I was like, well, there's illegal ones all over the country. She figuratively slapped me and goes, you know what I meant. I go, well, I, yes, I do believe in aliens. She goes, have you ever seen one? Well, no, I've never seen an alien. I'm not crazy. I haven't been uh, abducted into a UFO. She goes, well, why do you believe in an alien? Why do you believe that intelligent life exists? And I told her, because the universe is so huge that it is completely conceited on our part as a species to believe that we are the only intelligent life that has evolved in the entire universe. I immediately saw where she was going after I finished that statement. <clears throat> so how can I completely dismiss the fact of a higher power that created all of this when the universe is so huge and broad and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, she cornered me. So, maybe I'm not as atheistic as I thought, since I don't go run around trying to get converts, and I accept the possibility that there could be a higher power out there, just like there could be an uh, intelligent life. I'm not saying I'm wrong. Okay, I'm wrong. But... My logic is now somewhere in between deist and agnostic, I guess. I guess I would actually fall somewhere in there. Because I'm not going to be somebody that preaches. I can't do that. It's not me. And I don't know if any faith truly has it right. But I will tell you, I won't change who I am. I won't suddenly start prophesizing. I respect your right to your faith and I will fight for it as long as your faith doesn't involve forcing that faith upon me. Because that's if you get converts by force, they're not converts. And that's my biggest problem with uh, radical Islam. They want to force their faith on everyone, and they don't give a damn what you think about it. So, I say kill them all. If you want to faith, if, then we'll find out who's right. Well, you'll find out if you're right or not when you pass on. You may not realize it, or you may realize it. But that's a different theological argument I'm not going to try to get into. The main reason why I will not change who I am, I will not 
become a Christian or Jew or Hindu or Muslim or anything else is because it's not in my heart. I have I have a lot of anger and hatred in me. Now I also have a lot of love in me, but you gotta get past the anger and the hatred first. And I'm not going to change who I am. I'm going to be me. I I spend enough of my life lying about who I am. I'm not going to suddenly change. That's not me. So, I hope this little self-realization doesn't alienate too many of the people that I walk arm in arm with. Because I do respect your faith. And maybe even admire it a little bit. It reminds me of a time I saw a woman and her daughter or her son. Her son. It was in the doctor's waiting room. Now, I haven't done a video on my past. My past is ugly. Very, very ugly. I'm talking about my childhood and my past in general. I saw this woman interact with her child. And it was horrible. Absolutely horrible. It was disgusting. It was like something from Leave it to Beaver. And I was just completely repulsed by it. It was so corny. So 1950s. I was... I couldn't stand it. But you know what else? Part of me envied that child. Because I did not have it. So maybe I have a little bit of the same feeling towards many of you that can believe completely with your whole heart in a higher power that will make sure that everything comes out all right in the end. Me, I believe it's going to take a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. But that's just me. I can only be the best me I can be. So you keep on being the best you you can be. And please don't try to judge me. I will stand with those that stand with the USA. Thank you.